hey guys welcome to excel tutorial channel again and from this video we are going to open a new playlist called statistical functions in excel so what are statistical function if you have a data and you extract the statistics like averages minimum number largest number or any or you create a forecast for your sales number or something like that then you should subscribe to this channel and follow along this playlist because you are going to learn so much in this playlist so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are covering a statistical function in this playlist and we have already covered so many other functions also which you can find in our channel so let's get started so here we have a very basic sheet and we have a number of employees here or you can see a sales executive name these Kevin Darico Pletro etc and we have a sales number of these employees and we are going to find these numbers or you can say these headers using different formulas so keep in mind that this video is an overview video to get you hands on these functions this is not a detailed video so for the detailed video do subscribe to this channel and follow along future videos because we are going to to dive deep into these functions in future so you should not miss those videos because we will cover each and every function in detail okay so in first part we are going to discover average function in excel so average function is very basic as the name suggests average is average of set of numbers okay if here we have a sales number like this and we want to find the average of these sales okay so to find the average of a group of numbers you can use a average function so for the average function you just need to type average here and we have a set of numbers to be selected or a range which include those numbers and just close the parenthesis and there you go you get the number like this which is your average so we have a 66 average of sales data which we have earned from our employees here okay so that's how you can use average function i know it's very basic but we usually use this function as a helper function which you are going to learn in future so in next part we are going to calculate average but with a condition what is the condition here so we have a condition average above 50 so in this part we are going to use average if function so for the conditional part or you can say for the logical part we will use the average if function okay we have covered the logical function and formulas in excel in our previous playlist so you can also browse that in our channel so we have an average above 50 here and for the average above 50 we have two statement here first is average and above 50 above 50 is a logical operator so we will just type a, a average if here so we have only one logical explanation so we will use if but if we have one or more logical explanation then we have to use average ifs so that's the topic for the later part so let's just satisfy these arguments so we have a range and criteria which is the main argument of this and average range we don't need that part for now but we will deep dive deep into this for the later videos so let's just select the range here and just comma and we have a criteria so what is the criteria so criteria here is average above 50 so for the above 50 part we just need to include that expression of greater than 50 right in quote and unquote operator like this and just close the parenthesis and click enter so there we go so we have an average about 76 sales which are above 50 okay so those who are getting above 50 sales so sums up for you <laughs> okay so now we have moving forward to next function which is called mode okay so mode can be used to find the most frequently occurring number okay if you want to find a frequently occurring number or the same numbers or the same sales data then you can use the mode function and that's how we are going to fill in our next criteria which is we need to find the same sales number so we have a mode function okay 
so thanks to excel we can just calculate those in few clicks or typing a few words okay so we have a mode function to fulfill that to find the most occurring number here so let's just select this mode and select our range it's very straightforward like our previous functions so close the parenthesis so there you go so we have a couple of times or you can say the most occurring number is 56 so let's just find where is the 56 56 is the first number here which is by nariko and the next sale set of same number is by bay which is 56 also so so that's how you can find the most frequently occurring number in excel so now we have a minimum sales guy okay so you if you are into sales business so you must have a guy who are struggling to get sales right so that's where this function fills in so don't fire that guy <laughs> so we have a minimum sales number so to find out we have a minimum function so minimum function as the name suggests m i n or it means to find the minimum value in your data so these also have a very basic and straightforward arguments to select the set of numbers like this and just click enter so we got the minimum number which is 21 of Filippo okay so I know you will get the Filippo so don't get worried about your job you are not fired jokes apart so that's how you can use the min function or you can say minimum function in Excel so if we have a minimum then we must also have the maximum right so for the maximum part to find the maximum sales number we can use max just like min so let's see who's our top sales guy here any guesses okay so there we go so we got the 98 number sales guy so who is it so let's just find out it is i can't pronounce that name just whoever that is so that's the maximum sales number which is 98 you can use that with the help of max function in excel so similarly if you want to find a second largest okay i know everyone loves the first guy and don't care about the second but we do care about the second largest guy second topper as you can say so to find a second position guy you can use a large function here okay so excel did take care of the those guys who are second third and fourth so jokes apart so we have a second largest number to find the second largest number you can use the large function so in this part we have a large function here you can use an array which is this and in the next part is denoted by k and which number you want which second or third largest or fourth largest so you just type that but we want to find the second you just need to type the second here or two here and close the parenthesis. so second largest guy or you can say the second largest sales holder is 95 so 95 is pietro so congratulations for coming a second so that's how you can find the second largest number and you can also find the third fourth fifth as required in your daily work life okay so if we have a second largest so we must have the second last sales guy right so we have a minimum sales guy of 21 and if you want to find the second lowest sales number then you can also find that with the help of small just like large function we have a small function so there you go we have a small function just select this let's see who is the second last sales holder so we have a 32 sales number so if we can see 32 is muriel so that's who got the second last sales number so these are just a set of different statistical functions which you can use in your daily life but there are more functions okay added to it but we are going to dive deep into each and every functions of which i have stated here in different scenarios which you can incur in your daily excel life but for the extras part we have two more function here which is first is median okay so what is median function median function can be used to find the middle number okay so if you have a set of number and if you want to find the middle part of those number then you can use the median function okay 
and for the median part we have a set of number ready for us so like this so if we find the median number so we get the 62 okay so 62 here is the median number so i know this particular example doesn't suit the median function but i'm just trying to give you an overview of those functions which can be used under the statistical scenarios okay and the next function is the standard deviation okay standard deviation is a number that tells you how far numbers are from their mean okay if you are into statistics so you must have heard about these terminology like standard deviation median mode averages something like that right and the standard deviation we didn't have a formula for it but thanks to excel it does have a formula for now which is the standard deviation formula which is s t e d v okay and to calculate the standard deviation you just need to type s t d e v and open that function so you can just select just the way we were doing you select the set of numbers so it will tell you how far your number is from the mean so it gives us this 23.35 so we will dive deep into standard deviation in our upcoming videos so don't worry about it so we will cover each and every functions which are used here in detail to satisfy different scenarios you may encounter in your daily excel life so if you have found this video useful then please click the like button and if you still have a questions in mind regarding the set of functions we have used in this video then you can just type your questions in the comment box and if you want to subscribe to this channel then you have a subscribe button the red subscribe button please do click on that because it will help us to grow more and it will help us to or motivate us to make more videos on certain functionality of excel so see you in the next video until then bye bye